Welcome city planners, landscapers and those of you who wanna become one. I'm Echo Original and today we'll have a look at custom roads. Not meaning roads from the workshop, but using intersection marking tool, node controller and traffic manager to create your own visually and functionally custom roads. If you're looking for a tutorial on a topic I haven't covered yet, make sure to put your requests and suggestions in the comments. Also consider subscribing to not miss future tutorials if you haven't already. Thank you, now let's get right into it. Alright, to show as many as possible techniques we are going for a mix of regular traffic lines and public transport lines. Let's go with the network extension one that has grass on the side, a bus line and two regular lanes. Just get a 10 unit segments in. Also make sure you have the right color you want the road to be. I like to have my in-town roads always a little bit darker, so I use that one. And to get rid of the road arrows. They will become annoyance, you will see later why. And we can add the arrows later on as decals. And because we have a bus route, Let's quickly put the bus depot there. Now get back to that road. Add two more 10 unit segments. It doesn't have to be 10 units, but for the purpose of the tutorial, that will be easier to show like that. Now two segments on that side. And then grab the normal six lane road with grass on the side. Again, make sure you have the right color selected and hide the arrows. There we go. Now, as always, prepare the nodes. Need a custom road there, slope, and remove the markings. Now let's get a bus line in. Just like that. Which already changed the look of the road. We got a nice bus stop here, bus lines here, and at the end just six regular roads. So we will go from regular roads to roads with bus lanes to the bus stop and the same in reverse. Now it's time for the intersection marking tool. Which will do visually the magic for our custom roads and later on we have to use the traffic manager to make it actually functional how we want it. First get a crossing in here and here. It's important always do the crossings first, otherwise the lines we draw will draw over the crossing and that, that looks bad. So let's do the middle segment first. To fir show the first technique, we want to separate the normal traffic from the bus traffic by adding a median in that lane and in that lane. So crossing pedestrians don't have to cross six lanes at a time, but they cross two lanes, have a median, no, they, they cross one lane, have a median, cross two lanes, have a median, cross one lane again. And for that we hold ALT, to add the filler in here. 
set it to grass and add some carbs to it. Let's do point three. And that on each side. So now we have curb all around. Let's copy that. Right click. Oh, that was one too much. Hold old again and add another filler in here. Paste. It somehow doesn't paste that, so we have to add that back to three point three, I mean. Bam, and done. Now we have these ugly lines here. We, we don't want to have them. So what we can do about that? Let's get closer in. Hold control and move the median out a tiny bit. And the same on the other side. And there we go. Visually, we now have nice, clean medians here. So the traffic here will split to the normal traffic in the middle, and the bus lane can continue to rate. Also, want to add some lines here and there. I personally prefer to have some dotted lines here, which I already saved. But yeah, you can use whatever you prefer. And we have a straight lane going through, and the bus that stops can move over here. Now let's move on to the next segment. Here I want to add a median just in the middle. Again, holding ALT and add a filler. Oh, actually we don't want to have the curbs on this side yet, because we want to have that to be a nice continuous curb. We only want to have one on this side. But, oh we can't do that on the segment, we have to do that on the node. So this node is, uh, this segment is done. Now let's get the transition between the two. Get the node. pavement to mark the end of the median that looks about right also straight line here so now holding shift to get a straight same from here get straight Here and another straight here. The lines don't match up as nicely, so what we do is holding control again and move that a bit. There you go. We also need more lanes and another solid 
by holding shift to there and to there. Now we need to add more fillers. Now make that pavement. And elevation down a little bit, so we get this sly uh, island for the pedestrians that are walking across. And we don't want it to be too high up to be better accessible for, uh, as example, for wheelchair drivers. In real life, these curves here would have another effect too, because traffic here has to slow down a bit, which is good for the pedestrians crossing. But of course, we need some more fillers. Let's do the bus lane collection first. That's a little bit more trickier because you have to match the color of that red. And holding Alt. to create a filler. Now we make that solid and that, that looks poop. That looks absolutely poop. <laughs> Follow the guidelines, I suppose. See, if you, if you don't do that, you have like these weird little dots on the outside. Can you do that? We have some some um, weird things going on on the start and the end, but that will be fine since it's overlapping. Well, let's just pick some darkish red here out. And then play with the uh, with the uh, opacity and voila you got the color matched now copy the color well, actually we, we can copy the entire filler and holding alt creating a filler here Paste and done. So now get these fillers in. Here to there. Need to be stripes. Follow the guidelines. Uh, I set the left one to that line and the right one to that line. So these are kind of straight now. Now we go to angle. Set it to 45 degree and they are nicely 45 degree angled. Of course they are facing the wrong direction. Just to turn, oh no. I did it wrong. So set that again. And instead of 45, we go to minus 45. Now that's right. And minus again. The stripes should always point in the direction you wanna deflect the traffic to. So they're coming from here and the stripes point in that direction. Now the middle part, which should be a chevron. Again, we have one right side and one left side. It doesn't really matter what you set as left and right. Uh, the important part is that the outlines should be set here as left and right guide. Wait, is that correct? No, that's not correct. We don't want a chevron here. We need stripes here as well. 
Or do we? Yes, we need stripes. Stupid me. <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. That's, that's what happens. Sometimes you do stuff wrong and then you correct it. That deflects traffic in that direction, that deflects in that, that deflects in that, and that deflects in that. So, this is correct now. Alright, let's copy the entire node. Right click, left click, and then hit paste. turning it around so it faces the right direction and apply of course it's not right lining up here yet so let's simply move that around by holding control again and there we go middle part is done now copy that segment over to here. Already correct. Apply. And done. Now let's get to the next node. So let's do the fillers here first and the solid lines. What we want to do here is merge these two lines coming in to one lane. By adding another filler. Just set it to grass. Curb size 2.3 again. Line that up. And you can see these uh, lines don't match these, so we need to make them a little bit shorter. About, uh, maybe even a little shorter. That looks about right. And it's a little bit harsh here. The transition. Easy enough, we can use Node Controller. And set it to about 16. That, that should be fine. Moving on to the next segment with the uh, intersection marking tool. Adding in another grass filler. With the point three of curves. Let's do another 16 offset here as well. And the curb here, or the median. Adding pavement. So that ends here. We're well, going back again to the line here. And copy that so we don't have to fiddle with that again over here as well. And paste them all in. 
Now we need to solid lines. Holding shift to there. Holding shift to there. But now we have the problem. They all end up in the middle here. What we can do, and thanks to Shilka for that, that he showed me that yesterday. I didn't even know that's a that's an option. go to that point the orange one and split into two now when we go to that line we have the option up here to go to the left Now we want that to the right. That goes to the left. Now go to the point again and use the mouse wheel. Throw it down, point one, and it lines up perfectly. Now holding alt again. That is, is that the middle one? No, that's the upper one. To the lower one, to that corner, to that corner, and back. Follow guideline. Making sure the outer lines are set again. And 45 degree, so that traffic is deflected in that, uh, deflected in that direction, that traffic is deflected in that direction. And for the bus lanes, make a line, I use my dotted again. You can create these dotted lines by playing with the dash uh, length, the space length and hitting that button, you can save your own template. go that side is completed now you could have like a four-way crossing here so from each way there can come one in and from here you can go in all dry three directions so now we can simply copy all what we did here to the other side but first make sure these nodes are set to 16 offset I think these segments could be a little bit longer, so let's set them to 16 as well as the other nodes. Like that. That's much smoother. Now we need to get to the functionality. On the traffic manager, junction restrictions, and check here. So we want pedestrian crossing here. We also wanna have the traffic be able to flow through here all the time because there is no crossing, there's no need for them to stop. But no crossing here. Here, no crossing. No crossing. Now the same on the other side. All right, so that is sorted. Now the line connections. On this side we got three coming in, three going out. And of course, we don't want to have any traffic and going where our <laughs> minions are. So let's go to the settings. In the settings to gameplay. Make sure it's set to Holy City. 
and in the polities, vehicle restrictions, aggression strict. So all the time the traffic is following the lines we set. So now the lines. As I said earlier, three in, three out. So buses could come in on all three of the lines. So you can access the bus line from all three incoming lanes. Then of course we want that traffic to merge into the middle. That traffic can go straight here and from here the bus can go in all lanes and that lane can also go in all lanes. Next note, bus goes straight in both directions, that lane goes straight That lane has to merge here and that can only go straight. Bus goes straight, normal traffic goes straight and on the other side as well. So now no traffic should go through Armenians. Now the vehicles. Bus lanes, we only want to have bus. Maybe taxi, yeah why not, let's taxi go in here as well. Uh, Truck? Nope. Services? Maybe. Yeah, let's let's let the services use that road as well. And the other lanes. So same over here for the bus lane. Okay, no bus. The middle lane should have shouldn't have any traffic at all. I mean, by the how we set up the lines, there shouldn't be any traffic. But to make sure, remove all that as well. So everything else is allowed here as well. Everything but bus. Same here, no bus, no bus. Next segment. Middle, nothing, absolutely nothing. Then the next outer lanes, everything but bus. And there we don't want to have trucks and cars in the bus lane. There we go, all set up. Now the custom road should work as we set it up. Now it's up to you how you want to decorate that. 
I want to show you one other technique to fix these uh, green stripes on the side. Because of the custom nodes, they stop here and it looks a little bit weird. For that, I use a surface network. It's also linked in the description like all the other mods. Make sure to make a short segment. We don't need more than two nodes for that. And we don't want to waste nodes. There is a node limit in the game, and especially when you do a lot of custom rows and a lot of network decoration, you want to save as many nodes as you can. Moved it to where the crossing is. And to the end of the road. Of course, if you add something more on the road, you might need to adjust this again, but I mean, it's move it. You simply can move it. Mark both nodes. Control C. And we have a copy. Like put one there, put one there, put one there. Alternatively, you could get some small uh, bike path and use bike path here instead. But yeah, it's it's up to you. Do whatever you want. At night you might have a little issue with these custom roads as you can see here. Come on, get down light. Because we have these long nodes in between the lights are pretty spread out. So you might have to place some manual lights in here. Just rotated it to that because that's 90 degree to the road. Now we can snap that with uh, holding alt and holding the right mouse button. Then we can go in 45 degree angles. Uh, control and paste. No, uh, control C. And the node starts here, goes to there, that is the metal. So set one right here. Easy as that.
hope the tutorial was of use. As mentioned earlier, the mods are all linked in the description. If you have any questions, suggestions or other tutorial requests, make sure to put them in the comments. And if you like the tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe. That shows me that you want to see more and it also supports the channel quite a lot. I also stream quite often on Twitch, so make sure to head over there, link is in the description. We also have a lovely Discord community, make sure to join there as well and show your screenshots and what you came up with, I always like to see that. Until then, I hope I see you on the next video or even stream, have a nice day, bye bye! Big.